takedown of accused gang members in Brooklyn. 21 arrests in what's been called a reign of terror that left two people dead and four others hurt. The In the winter of 2014, New York hip-hop sensation Bobby Shmurda took over the hip-hop scene and the music world by storm. He dropped the hit song, Hot N-Word, and it rose to number 6 on the Billboard Hot 100. Out of nowhere, the charismatic Brooklyn street rapper rose to unprecedented levels of success and fame seemingly overnight. But as quickly as the success came to him, it was all taken away from him just as fast. Shortly after he blew up, Bobby Shmurda and his crew were all arrested and charged with serious crimes that have left them all in jail till this very day. However, due to speculation that Bobby may be released soon, I wanted to make a video breaking down what really happened to his crew and why they've been locked up. But before we get into the video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn your post notifications on. Throughout his short stint in the rap game, Bobby Schmurder rolled with his New York crew called GS9. GS9 stands for G Stone 90s, and they were Bobby Schmurder street gang in New York. Wherever Bobby went, GS9 went, and they were always heavily armed. But this would ultimately lead to unwanted attention from the police. Bobby's manager tried to move him to LA so he could record there and stay out of trouble, but Bobby only felt comfortable working in New York. Additionally, Bobby's uncle told GS9 that they needed to take a step back and they were going to kill Bobby's career before it started. Unfortunately, they didn't listen. Fellow rappers such as Mano and Busta Rhymes talked to Bobby one-on-one -on -one to warn him that the way he was moving could jeopardize his career. Bobby himself admitted he didn't want to be babied. Everything came full circle on December 17th, 2014. Bobby was sitting inside of a car outside a New York City recording studio when dozens of police officers pulled up. On that night, 15 members of GS9 were arrested, including Bobby. The alleged crimes varied, but everyone in the group was charged with conspiracy, which made every member complicit in the worst crimes any of them were accused of, including murder. If GS9 was a family, the police had used that same loyalty to build the case against them. Most of those arrested had their bail set to $50,000 or less, but Bobby's was set to 2 million. To make matters worse, Bobby's label, Epic Records, bailed on him. They refused to pay his bail. The head of Epic Records, L.A. Reid, is quoted as saying, When I heard him, I believed him. That's what sold me. It felt soulful. It didn't feel like someone was play acting. It felt really believable. And I guess it was, Reid said. He admitted it had been a business decision not to bail Bobby out, that it just didn't make financial sense. Bobby Schroeder is not the same as Snoop Dogg and Murder Was The Case, who's coming off the chronic in his first album, he said. It's a different era, you know, and we're a publicly held corporation. We just aren't in the same position we were back in those days. Till this day, Bobby still hasn't been released from prison. The most serious charge against Bobby and his crew was a murder. In the most serious violent incident charged in the indictment, a member of the rival gang BMW was murdered inside a bodega in Brooklyn on February 8th, 2013. Several members of BMW were inside the store when Rasha allegedly burst through the door firing a gun and then quickly exited. A 19-year-old man died at the scene of gunshot wounds. Accompanying Rasha was A-Rod. Rasha and A-Rod faced charges of murder in the second degree, attempted murder in the second degree, and other crimes.
There was another time where they hit an innocent bystander. On July 12, 2014, a 22-year-old woman bystander was shot in the neck outside in Brooklyn. The investigation revealed that a member of BMW, who was the intended target, had been standing near her. The investigation revealed that Rasha and A-Rod ran up the street firing multiple rounds. Rasha is also charged with mistakenly shooting A-Rod in the arm during this incident. That just shows you how reckless they were. Bobby's own lyrics were used against him in court. On his song Hot N-Word, he name drops Trigger, Rasha, and A-Rod. Rasha was charged with conspiracy, second degree murder, attempted second degree murder, and criminal use of a firearm in multiple assaults. He was sentenced to 98 years in prison. A-Rod was also charged with conspiracy, second degree murder, attempted second degree murder, and criminal use of a firearm in multiple assaults. He was sentenced to 53 years in prison. Bobby's friend Rowdy Rebel was just released after serving 6 years in prison, and Bobby Schmurda was sentenced to 7 years in prison. Hopefully when Bobby comes out next month, his music career can pick up from where it left off and he can stay out of trouble. Let me know what you guys think of this situation in the comment section, and please be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.